I'm Dr. Zach DeMullen. I am the veterinary intern here at the Toledo Zoo and Aquarium. Today we are taking a look at our female Komodo dragon. Uh, we've noticed that she's been having some issues with her back legs lately, so we're anesthetizing her so we can do some x-rays and a full workup and see if we can figure out what's going on. Voluntary health care is an important thing that we do here at the Toledo Zoo. It is much easier for us as veterinary staff and for our keepers to help administer medications to take care of our animals when they will willingly participate in their own veterinary care. So getting our Komodo dragon to willingly walk into our containment box so much easier and so much less stressful for everybody involved, including the animals. My job today is working with our anesthesia. So in order to get her under anesthesia, we first are using our gas anesthesia to get her sedated enough for me to safely place a breathing tube. That way we can safely administer oxygen and continued anesthesia throughout her procedure. After we've got her out and we've safely placed a breathing tube to control her airway, we then have to get her out of the containment box and onto the ground so we can continue to do our testing. That takes a couple of people to <laughs> pick her up and move her out of this box slide the equipment around and get her safely back down. A large animal like a Komodo dragon being under anesthesia takes an entire team to get safely done. Myself and monitoring her anesthesia, I've got probes monitoring her heart rate, monitoring her respiratory rate. These are all important things to make sure that our animal is stable and it's being as healthy as possible while under anesthesia. Our technicians are getting blood work done so we can look at her kidneys, her liver values, her red blood cells, white blood cells, make sure those are all normal as well, make sure we're not dealing with multiple issues at the same time. Uh, at the same time that uh, our other vet is also doing his physical exam um, and his x-rays. When it comes to working with some of our larger animals like the Komodo dragon, we need to get everything done that we can when we have the opportunity to place them under anesthesia. We don't do anesthesia very often in these guys because they are dangerous animals and they are quite large, so when we have the opportunity to, we get as many things done as we can. So our x-rays found that our Komodo dragon is conditioned similar to hip dysplasia that we see in large breed dogs like German Shepherds. So our team, our care team, uh, along with our animal staff team are working to figure out what may have led to this issue and how we can properly manage her going forward. So after we're done with all of our diagnostics, we feel we've got a good physical exam done, we have to put her back into our containment box so we can safely wake up our Komodo dragon. This again takes several people to lift her up, put her in the box, move the equipment around. Once she's back in the containment box, stop our gas anesthesia and just allow her to wake up on her own. Reptiles breathe well on room air, so we have a small ambu bag that we can use to help breathe for our reptiles as they are starting to wake up, but everything went very smoothly with her. She was breathing well on her own shortly after moving her back into her box. Once her breathing tube was out, she took a couple of minutes to continue recovering in her box, get her bearings about her, and then we opened the door up and she walked herself out of her box back onto her exhibit without a problem. For her long-term care, we got her started on some pain medications as well as some joint supplements, and we're looking into how we can improve and change around her enclosure, make it easier for her to help combat this issue. As a veterinary intern, this is a great opportunity for me to learn about a lot of different things. This is the first time I've gotten to work with a Komodo dragon like this. I have several years of experience in private practice prior to coming to the zoo here after graduating vet school a couple of years ago. So getting to take everything that I've learned prior to this and putting it into working with a large Komodo dragon is an excellent learning opportunity for me and something I'll use in the future. Thank you for watching and I hope you've learned a little bit about what it takes to take care of our reptiles here at the Medica Museum of Natural History at the Toledo Zoo and Aquarium.